Hey everybody, it is Margaret Texas Gal Treasures and I'm here with a garage sale and thrift haul. These are the things that I picked up yesterday at a couple garage sales and then this morning we had our Gulf Coast resellers meet up and so we had a great crew running around, hitting the garage sales. We hit up a couple of thrift stores and we had some lunch. It was so much fun and luckily this time everybody found stuff. The last couple of times we've had some some kind of duds but this time everybody seemed to find some good stuff and really good we had a good hangout so if you haven't joined or if you're in the area um, or you think you might be at some point um, go over to Facebook and join Gulf Coast resellers because we host meetups and hang out and have fun times yay so hello in the chat we've got friends yay hello friends hello Jason he says he's sitting by the pool working on his next tiki webinar yay Hi, Sherry. How's it going? Hi, Thrift in the Heart of Texas. Hey, Debbie. How's it going? <laughs> Long time no see. Hey, HB Picker Tracy and Melissa's there. Linda. Hello, Jeff. Uh-oh. He needs background noise to keep him awake. Well, just consider me your background noise. Hey, Thrifted Living. Uh, Debbie says it was a great shopping thrifting day. Yes, it was. I had a good time. And this was the first time we got to meet, so that was really good. Hello, Jennifer and Shelly. Hello, hello, Marie. Maria. Ooh. Okay, so we got some good stuff. Let me share with, with you some of the stuff that I have on the floor first. And, oh, Mr. Dodge and Maurice is first time catching me live. Yay, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Hello, Cynthia. Hi, Claire. Um, okay, so there, I looked at most of the things today. Yay, good job, Margaret. <laughs> but there's a few things that I did not look up yet. Um, the first item I got at one of the thrift stores today, the charity shops. I took them to my two honey hole charity shops. Yes. Um, oh, Wendy says she got a James Avery Hall cheap. That's awesome. Hello, Kathleen. Okay. Um, so I got this um, vintage jewelry box. It's made in Japan. Oops, I forgot that was in there. <laughs> um, and this has got a bird on it. it, it to me, it looks like a seagull, um, but it probably isn't a seagull. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. So if you're a bird person and you know what kind of bird that's supposed to be, let me know. Because that was $2. And I'm guessing, because this is some kind of like a plastic in there that's not stone. Um, oopsies. Why are you sending me a picture, Jason? Um, <laughs> so that's, yeah, I'm guessing it's going to probably go in the $20 range. Do you remember that pink New York City one that I sold. I think I sold it for like 40 bucks. It was it was similar style to that one, but it was a New York City. Okay, sorry. Jason texted me. I'm guessing it's a picture of him by the pool. Please have clothes on. Okay, good. Whew. <laughs> it's him by the pool watching me. Yay. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> it's me. You by my pool. Yay. <laughs> Hi, social media tech. Hello. No, no, right? Yeah, he's not naked. Thank goodness. Well, he could be. It's not the picture's not showing him. So all right, next up, I got this rosary, which I did not look up. For some reason lately, I've been picking up rosaries. I haven't listed a one of them, but I, I don't know why. I've just been picking them up, so that's a dollar. Um, <laughs> this is true, Kathleen. You just never know. It could be. It could be. The weather's hot enough for it. And then Myra, she found this at one of the charity shops that we went to, and she brought it and gave it to me. I was like, are you sure? You can buy this. You take it. She said, no, 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 you take it. So thank you, Myra. Um, so this was two bucks. And I generally sell these for about 25, but I've started bumping my prices up a bit because I think it was Carly that said she'd been selling them for 30. And somebody had bought one that was like a massive one and went for like 60 bucks. So there's that. Hey, Nevada, how's it going? Okay, so let's see. Let me throw this down here. I have to keep it within the hour because my parents are coming at five because Randy and I are going to hear Neil Gaiman talk tonight. So I'm really excited about that. Um, we saw him a couple years ago in Austin. So yay, Neil Gaiman tonight. If you, 30 bucks. Yes, really? Yes. The, I've been selling them for around 25, but yeah, Carly said she'd been, I think it was Carly that was saying she sold, she's been selling them for closer to 30. Okay. So I'm putting this big basket in my lap because it's mostly smalls maybe I can fit it without knocking everything off maybe not we'll find out okay so today at a garage sale I picked up this uh, miniature like dollhouse furniture for three dollars 
and it's you know it's got all moving parts the secretary on this desk opens all the drawers fell out already they fell out in the bag so it's got all these drawers and stuff let me screen share yes Neil Gaiman yeah hey Casey Snipes um what country am I streaming from I'm streaming from Texas <laughs> So yeah, we're going we're going to um hear Neil Gaiman tonight. He's one of my favorite authors. And so I'm super excited to go and hear him tonight. He's really awesome. Um so let me share with you the miniatures. I couldn't find some just like mine. I've got to look them over for maker's marks, but I didn't see any. But they're they seem to be really good condition, really, you know, well made and all the moving parts are there. So like this is a little miniature desk. Um, where was something similar? I know I saw, like this was kind of similar. It was a desk and a chair. I mean, this looks really similar to mine, only I have more bits. And this one is was 48 bucks. Now let's see, was it, did it include the guy and all that stuff too, or was it just the furniture? Hang on, let me go see. It says roll top desk, matching, matching bookshelves, additional books, a lamp, okay. Actually, we're okay. So it's got a few extra bits. So in there, well, okay. But it gives me an idea. This looks really close to the one I've got. Really similar. So you know, maybe around that mark because I've got more more furniture. So that's good. Okay, let me <laughs> see. Okay, more people jumping in the chat. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh, good. Myra's there. Hello, hello. Um, let's see. Yes, Texas. It's our own country. This is true. Um, it's like Louisiana. If you've been to Louisiana, you know it's like a whole nother country. It's like a whole nother planet. It's so, I mean, in a good way. If <laughs> you're from Louisiana, in a good way. Truly, truly. Uh, thank you, Sean. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Sherry and Kathleen have never found the hooks or the, the accordion things. All right. Oh, yay. Alaska, you love them too. All right. Oh, hey, Tam's place is there. I know. I, I got to, I got to keep going because just because okay so let's see what's next I'm gonna try to go in order but I may or may not okay so I did find also at I got too many windows open I think okay where can I put this let me put it down here I feel scatterbrained today I don't know why maybe it's normal but maybe I feel more so than normal okay so I got this which is one of those um, like telegraph doodads you know it's got a locking mechanism this I got at the charity shop for a dollar. Um, so there we go. There's that. And then this I think is going to sell for about 25 bucks. Let me screen share for you. Um, but um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so here's one that's mounted on a piece of wood. Yes, I said mounted, Jason. You can snicker. Um, sold for 32 bucks. Here's another one sold for 25. These are on, on auction. I don't generally do auctions, but eh, who knows? So it looks like between 25, 30 bucks. So I will probably, knowing me, I'll probably put it up about 45 um, with best offer for that one. Very cool. Um, hang on. Do, 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 do. Okay, I'm looking. All right. Yes, I did, Debbie. She's like, did you get the bigger one too? Yes, I did. <laughs> so I got this one as well, which is even awesomer. Awesomer? It's got the Morse code like right here so you know what to type it out. And thank heavens because it has signal electric manufacturing down here. So I was able to look it up and it good. makes good noises. Um, so this one... I found one that sold for good money because I spent about 50 bucks between yesterday and today. And come on, you open. There it is. Um, so here's one that's not quite the same one. No, nope, I thought it was on this page. So this is a similar one, but it's old and crustier than mine. So 35 bucks on that one. Maybe it's on a different page. No, here we go. So this is almost, yeah, this is exactly like the one I've got. So this sold on auction for $43. Pretty good, huh? So that almost pays for everything. Well, those two items for sure will pay for everything. And if I get what I want on this as well, I mean, come on. We're in the money. Cha-cha-cha money. <laughs> okay. Um, if I'm missing something in the chat, please let me know again because 
I'm in La La Land today, honestly. <laughs> does the first one you showed us work too? Yeah, it does. It has like a locking mechanism. So if you push this in, it kind of locks in place. And if you pull it out, it starts. You can hear it. It doesn't make as cool of a clicky noise, but that's cool. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm wondering if like a like a prop house or something would use it or who knows. It's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, then yesterday I went to a garage sale. Sorry, I'm pulling this back up here. Where I spent, I think it was 18 bucks, and I got a bunch of knives and watches and things. I didn't look up the knives. Generally, I pick up knives, pen knives and things because my guys are scouts. So we're always looking for, oh, there was one of them I should have shown you though. Um, like knives, like so small knives that the, the kids that the kids can play with. So this one is a Ruko. That one was worth a little bit more if I was going to sell it. There was one here. This one, this commemorative one, somebody had listed for like 80 bucks or something. It was crazy. But then there was like a sold for 15. Right. So this one I might look into selling. Um, the knives were a buck each. And there's that little one. And then this is like a craftsman box cutter. Like so. Like a box cutter. I would open it for you right now, but knowing me, I'd probably slice my finger off. I've shared this story about me getting my finger caught in the uh, immersion blender, yeah? I know I that was in my my video about Three truths, wait, three lies, three, three truths and a lie or something like that. Yep. So I'm uh, hesitant about <laughs> around blades. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yes, go over there and hit the uh, thumbs up button, 43 friends. All right. Next up, this was at the same garage sale. These were 50 cents. Yes. So these are Swarovski, and I always say that wrong. There they go. Please don't drop everything, Margaret. Okay. I'm extra clumsy today. <laughs> I just. Let's just go with it. Okay, so here we go. These ones still in the box with the tag. The tape is not like sticky tape. It's just like holding them still. I don't know how to describe that. It's just like a piece of plastic, not sticky, like tape or anything. So there's those. Um, and I'll show you what those go for. That's that. This pair of earrings sold on eBay. Come on, screen share. My screen shares. Whatever. Um, it was up here. Here we go. Look. These are sold. Sold for 38 bucks. Very good. So that was, what, June 13th. So not too long ago. So I'll probably put them up around the same. Randy thinks I ought to keep them, but I have enough. You know? I think I'm going to sell them. So that's cool. Swarovski. Sears. Yes, I need to go over to Sears tomorrow. Speaking of that. Start buying school clothes, you know. Okay. Mr. Uh, Dr. Dodge says, grab anything craftsman at yard sales. You can take it back to Sears and get a brand new one. Oh, that's true. But Sears, yeah, like you say, Sears has filed for bankruptcy there. Someplace else must sell craftsmen, though. Do they still do that? I don't know. Okay, then I did buy a bunch of watches. And I am still learning about watches. It's something that in our jewelry group is coming up where we're gonna devote a whole month to just diving in and learning what to look for when we're out and about to buy watches. Cause you see them all the time and I hear from so many people like, I just don't know watches. But there's money to be had in them. So this guy, same guy that had the knives and the Swarovski earrings, all the watches were a dollar. So I picked them all up because, because. So the first one is this Seiko watch like so it's a seiko if i can read that it says quartz and um i couldn't find this same exact one let me screen share though true religion file for bankruptcy too okay i wonder if that will make the prices increase on when you find them used so these are sold let me make sure yeah best offers accepted i mean i'm seeing like 21 not best offer accepted on a 20. Um, I'll have to do a little more digging on this one. This one's similar-ish. Best offer was accepted. There's a way to look it up, but I'm not going to do it right now. So I just wanted to get an idea. Worst case scenario, the ones that don't sell 
can go into a lot. And then someone who I always say, I think it was Christine, but then Christine keeps saying, no, it wasn't me. Um, takes like watches that don't sell well, they'll, they'll take it apart and get all the springs and gears and stuff out. And then they make a steampunk craft lot that tends to sell. So that's an idea as well. So there's that watch. And the next watch <laughs> is this one. I just, like I say, I grabbed them all up. This one I probably wouldn't have bought you know, but I just thought, okay, I'm just going to grab them all for, for educational purposes. So there's this one that's Chrome, and then the brand is Azaro, which when I looked it up, brought up um, Cologne and stuff like that. I had a Christmas of Esprit and sold for 40 to 80 Oh, cool, cool, um, Tracy says. Okay, well, I'm going to keep, I, I still have to look it up a little more because I didn't find that same exact one. So, where did it go? So this, these are not the same exact watch that I have, but you know, 12 bucks, 15, that's nicer than the one I've got for sure, I think. Um, so, you know, we'll see. Eh, not awesome, but better than zero, right? Um, <laughs> let's see, stop that. And then let's see what the next one is. <laughs> the next one is another Seiko. I'm digging. I want to make sure I'm showing you because I did good. Okay. This one did a little bit better. This is another Seiko. Like so Seiko Titanium something something. What does it say? Uh, kinetic Titanium is what that one says. So I looked this one up and I saw a sold for $45, which is really good. So screen share, here it comes. This is acting goofy for me today. So here it is down here. Um, this is the one I've got. Seiko Kinetic Titanium, sold on May 20th for $45. So here's one that's similar to mine, only has a white face instead of and then mine has these Roman numerals like this one. So not too bad. Here's one that's really banged up. That's just like mine. That sold for $750, but it's pretty, looks pretty battered. This one, $27. So anywhere from, and mine is pretty good shape. There's a couple of teeny scratches, but nothing really major on there. A couple of little teeny scratches. So, I mean, anywhere probably from $30 to, what was the other one, $45, somewhere in that range. Cool, not too bad. Okay. okay, how do you know if the watch works? Well, I, I can get a battery for it. Um, and yeah, because like this one doesn't have a battery at all. And then, is it supposed to make that sound? It's making a weird sound. Maybe that's the kinetic part. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go to the dollar store and get some watch batteries, pop them in there and see if they're working. Pardon me. <clears throat> Tim, my, my sales have been okay, but only I had some really big sales. She's asking if uh, my sales are pretty good. I've I had some really big sales the last week, so they were pretty good. It's kind of slowed down a little bit. So next up, oh, where did that Luger watch go? I didn't find a whole lot about this one. This is a Luger watch. Um, so that's a big question mark. I didn't find a lot about that one. And this next one is, oh, come on now. Scrolling back up. Oh, yeah, okay, that was the one I couldn't find a lot about. So this brand, this was the one that I was like, meh, it's probably not going to be that awesome. So here's this watch. And, I, I mean, I was like, well, since I'm getting all the watches, I'll just go ahead and pick it up. The brand is Victoria Weck or Week. Beverly Hills, W-I-E-C-K, Victoria Week. And when I first typed in her name, just costume jewelry popped up. And it was really high, highly priced. I was like, ooh, okay. So maybe it's not so bad. So when I looked this one up, and I can see, if you see the second hand is, is going, it's working. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, tick, tick, tick. Um, so again, all the watches I picked up were a dollar. This, I found this one with the red strap. This is sold, buy it now, for $24.95. So, not too bad, right? And this is one that I was like thinking, oh, it's probably like Kohl's or something like that. 
But no, that brand, Victoria Week, I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly, but seems to be a brand to keep uh, my radar out for. Look at this one, Victoria Week Glam Crystal Baguette Dial, blah, blah, blah. 74 bucks. Okay, so I will keep my eyes open for you, Victoria Week, for sure. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on in the chat. I missed some things. Um, Julie says she had a great find today, a silver GNS 87 biker eagle bracelet ring. And there's a bracelet list for $7,000. Whoa, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Okay, so there's that watch. And then if you guys are watching later and you're like, man, I want to be there and talk in the chat, hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. Okay, here's the watch that I think is super cool and I can't find. So this is an Elgin watch, which is a vintage brand. So this is Elgin. And that insignia down there is for Bowling Proprietors of America Association, Association of America or something like that. So this is a watch that was, it seems to have been dedicated to this bowling association. Somebody got it probably as a gift. Um, yeah. So let me share what I found out. Well, but it wasn't a lot because I couldn't find it. I could not. Let's see where to go. Here we go. Um, so El Elgin watches are kind of all over the place. So like here's a pocket watch for 200 then here's one for 12 then somebody's selling just a lot of the faces. This one seems really cool though. So I'm just going to have to dig a bit more on it. And if I can't find it, I'm just going to price it high and just go with it. Look at this one. Elgin Vintage Caliber, blah, 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 chronograph, $811. Woo. So, yeah. It's something to keep an eye out for. It seems like the Elgin watches overall. See, that's cool. 31 bucks though. But they, I mean, some are really, really good. Like, come on now. Okay. So what I'll probably do is price it high since I can't find one just like it. Uh, I might dig a little bit more, but then if it's working and everything, it even has this little clip on it, almost as if it's never been used. Like it's got this little guard to keep the, like it comes off. It's got a little guard to keep this, you know, dial behaving. I don't know what it's there for. So, um, my T Sherry says my mother thought Elgin watches were the best, but that was over thirty years ago. Yeah. Oh, hey, Catherine. Hello, Pat. Okay, I'm missing some people coming in. Hi, Donna. It was a special special presentation, Elgin. Okay, thank you. So I, yeah, like I say, I'm gonna find out a little bit more. There may be collectors for. Bowling Proprietors Association of America. Who knows? Um, oh, awesome. Rag says, um, when she was in Vegas, or he got your first jewelry jar, found three items worth 10 times what I paid for the jar. Oh, yay, I'm so glad. Um, Melissa says, are you still able to take payments from a buyer if they don't have a PayPal account? Yeah, I think so. I think they can pay with a credit card. Isn't that right? Yeah. Price high, put best offer. I will, I will. Okay, now, next up, let's see what I have on my, um, I have another screen going with all my research and stuff. Okay, so next up, I've got this silver rose ring. So this is marked 925 silver. It's hollow, so it's really light, and it's big, it's giant, it's pretty cool, but not my style at all. So again, Mark 925 and tie. So, you know, I, I may test it, but it's already starting to tarnish on the inside. So like so, you can see the tarnish on there. So what I found was, do, 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 clicky open. Let's see. Um, so this is one that's super similar. It's not exactly the same, but this one sold for $22.35. I'm probably going to price mine higher. This one is one sold for $37. Like, I'll probably price mine closer to the $37 to $40 range. Just because it's really cool. And I like to price things high. <laughs> so that's probably where I'll go with that one. Right there. Then, what do I have next? 
next up, there's a few things that I didn't look up. So this is a necklace that I got. I can't remember. The re the jewelry, most, there was one lot of jewelry I got for about 18 bucks. Pardon me. And then some places I picked it up, it was like 50 cents. So mostly it was either a dollar or 50 cents for the jewelry. So I got this one with the key and the little, hold still you. It's got a key and a cute little lock on it. It's not vintage or anything. It's just made to look that way. So it's, I'm guessing I'll probably put it up around, you know, $12.99, 15 somewhere in that range. Um, let's see. Uh, Marie says, we don't have jewelry jars in the UK. You can buy, like, lots off of eBay. I know some friends um, have been doing that. Cindy, I think. And Okay, and then also I got these ones. I think these ones were about a buck as well. They are that Pandora style. They're not magnetic, but I, I don't think they're silver. They're not marked or anything. They're probably just, like, stainless steel or something like that. Um, so there's a green one with a four-leaf clover. And then there's a pink one that says hope and believe. Has a little angel over here. Very cute. Um, and what did I see? I did look these up. So, uh, come here, computer. Don't fall. That was close. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll probably put these up around the $15 mark, $15, $20 in that range. Maybe with best offer. That other one just fell. But I was saving you because you were about to fall off the table. So you're on a um, like a TV tray right now. So that's where you are. Uh, <laughs> let's see. What are they talking about? Doo -doo -doo. Okay. Just checking to see if I'm missing any questions. Okay. So then the next thing I picked up were these two bracelets. Hang on. I'm going to have to move my basket of goodies over here. To show you these. Now, I thought they were really awesome. I still think they're awesome. So this one, it's got these fish, in like engraved, sort of pressed in, and then it's got a mark inside, like these characters, these Chinese characters. I think I always get the characters mixed up. So if they're not Chinese, I apologize. So there's that one, and again, paid about a buck, fifty cents or a buck for it, and then there's another one like this with the fish. It's a little bit different. They're a little a little different, but they're still really cool. The lady said her daughter got them in Mexico. Now, I found one of them on one of these like oh, on AliExpress. So, <laughs> uh, I, I'm still gonna put them on eBay um, and I'll definitely put them up higher. Cause look, AliExpress, this is exactly the one of one of them. Fashion Tibetan silver fish bangle cuff bracelet, two dollars a piece, and then minimum order ten pieces. So my guess is if the lady, you know, if her daughter got them in Mexico, maybe somebody in Mexico ordered, ordered them, you know, like from AliExpress, and then sold them at their booth, or whatever. Like maybe paid two two dollars a piece, and then sold them to American tourists because she was like, oh yeah, there's a legend behind it and everything, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to look that legend up. So probably this, you know, stall of selling these, you know, <laughs> AliExpress things were like, oh, the legend of the fish <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, American tourists. But I'm still gonna put them on eBay and I'll probably I'll probably still put them up higher than that. I'll probably still put them up at, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks. So I'll I'll test them because it says Tibetan silver. What does that mean? I don't know. Maybe not 925, that's for sure. They're not marked. So the legend of AliExpress, exactly. <laughs> Where the fish takes your money and eats it and swims it back to, uh, yeah, the homeowner or whatever. Anyway, but I thought they were cool, and I think someone else will. So I'll probably put them up around 30 bucks is my guess. Why not, right? I mean, they're still pretty, even if they're from AliExpress, and you could probably get them wholesale. That's how they do it, right? That's how they make money. Okay, next. What do I have next? I may, okay, I may just have to go off script and just start showing you stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Sherry says, I think Tibetan silver is not real silver, but a mix. Or like not 925 silver, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then let me show you what else we got in here. I got another watch that was in the same lot. It doesn't even have a name on it anywhere. So it'll probably just go into a lot. Um, 
to be sold. Here's another one that I did not look at, but I thought was really cute. It's a stretchy nautical, they're like plastic beads. This one's made to look kind of like it's a glass. It's translucent a bit. Um, but I think I'll still probably put, you know, $12.99 to $14.99 on this, on that one, right? Um, Melissa says, I like Tibetan silver. It has a nice aged look. It does, right? It's really pretty. It's still really pretty, you know. <laughs> it is. Okay, then I'm really trying not to knock you off. There we go. Um, so today I got these brooches. I got this one. I'll probably put New Orleans, Louisiana in the title just because of the, the green and the purple are those kind of Mardi Gras colors. Let me throw Mardi Gras heart in there. I did find this one up, but it didn't sell for as much as I like, so I'll probably still put it on for more. Let's see. Where is it? Here it is. So here it's sold for $6.99. So I will probably put it up for at least twice that because I will. So there's that. I think it's pretty. I think it could go for more than that, personally. And then I got this one that looks like it's tarnished silver and marcasite, but it's not. It's just, it's not. There aren't really stones. They're just the metal pinched up to make them look like stones. Um, and I couldn't find this one, but again, this one I'll probably put on. I'll probably still put it up for about $17.99. Um, I couldn't find one just like it, but I think it's cool. Does my jewelry do better on eBay or Etsy? I'll have to look. Um, it just depends because it's been selling on both. Lately, Etsy's been doing better. Just the last little, you know, few weeks. But I'll have to look and see. And then I picked up this. Um, the heart is silver. Smart 925 silver. There's only one teeny stone. It makes it look like there's stones all around. But the only stone is right there where my fingernail is pointing. And then the chain is not actually silver. So that's okay. So it was a dollar. I... I don't know how much of a demand there is for this. So now I'm like, why did I get it? I don't know. So I'll probably put it up for, you know, at least 12, 14 bucks. That's my thought. But I have a feeling it's going to be one of those that sits. Why did I get it then? I don't know. Pardon me. I'm really thirsty. It was really hot today. We got very, very hot going around a garage sales. Okay, these earrings I picked up for 50 cents. Look how awesome they are. They remind me of Metropolis, if you've seen that movie. Very futuristic, modern. They're not really silver, but I am going to still sell them probably for, I'll probably put them up for $24.99. That's my guess, if not more, because they're so awesome. How hot was it? Really hot. <laughs> I don't know. What I didn't check the actual temperature to see what it hit. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing really well on time. Pardon me. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Am I still using the old computer? No, I'm using my new one, but it's giving me, it's kind of buggy. I have to take it back to the Apple store. Pardon me. They look Art Deco. They do. Okay, now here's another one that I really like. So it's got multiple strands. It's really fluid kind of feeling. And then this is the charm on it. It has that, oh, what's the, I can't think of, what, like almost like a moonstone look to it. But it's not, it's just glass. But it's so pretty. And the thing is, there's not a maker's mark on it. This, this part has little stones in it. There's no maker's mark. It's not really silver, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it was magnetic. Let me double check. But I just thought it was really pretty. Let me grab my magnet again right here. Ah, come here. Okay, it's not magnetic, so I'll double check it, but it's not marked. So I'm guessing it's probably stainless you know, steel or something like that. We'll see. Really pretty though, so I'll probably put it up for around 30 bucks. That's, I like a, a, a Miss Ellie, what did I say moon glow? Moonstone? Anyway, I, and I'm not sure that that's exactly accurate either. It just, when I see it, it makes me think it's kind of like, Almost not exactly iridescent. What am I thinking of? How long is it? Let's see. Here's my arm. <laughs> it's that long. Where is the tape measure? Here we go. Come here, tape measure. 
Ah, you're handy. So let's count the inches. <laughs> so it is about 12 inches, but that's not doubled up. So 24 if you pull the, the cord all the way out. Opalescent. There we go. Um, how many returns with jewelry? Uh, not hardly any. I just got a return of a Brighton bracelet, but that's, well, I did get a return on those lapis earrings. So two this year. Opaque. Yeah. So I've had two this year. One of them was some lapis earrings, lapis and sterling silver. The lady just didn't check <clears throat> the size. She's like, oh, I thought they were bigger. And then the same thing with the, the, the Brighton bracelet. The woman got it and, and then was like, it's too small for me. So I put my measurements in there. I don't know. It's fine. I take it. No big deal. Um, is it an actual? So I'll have to look up about Moonstone, Miss Ellie. Uh, I hate to give bad information out. It just, when I see stuff like that, that's what it makes me think of. So, yeah. Okay, so then this pendant I also picked up. And then this one, I'm going to double check. I think it's just silver tone, but it's not magnetic. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just silver tone. Let me close out because I did look this one up. Where are you? Where, where, where? I already, no, I didn't show you that yet. Hmm, hang on. Okay, here we go. Let me screen share. I did do my homework this time. <laughs> it's been a while. Usually, I, I, lately, I've just been showing. So there's one. This one is sterling silver, silver 43. But this one is pretty much exactly what I've got. Someone is selling uh, for eleven ninety seven. So I'll probably put mine up for seventeen ninety nine, somewhere in that range. I might find a cord to go with it. You know, like a black. I've probably got some black silk cords, or you know, other cords that I can put on there, like little leather black cords. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I'm not reading that out loud, Jeff. <laughs> but it's probably true. <laughs> eh. Okay. You'll have to be here live to find out what he's saying in the chat. Okay, so then next up, I got this Chaps brand necklace. I just liked it. There's that. And I'm guessing I'll probably put it up for between $12.99 $14.99. I, have a, I mean, it seems like there's probably stuff similar to this out there. All right, all right, what's next? I feel like I had too much coffee. <laughs> yeah, it matches the ring. And then there's a, this is a, from the same person. Um, also, this is a silver. It's hollow. It's got these three roses. It's marked 925. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, so, again, I'll probably find a chain to put this on. And then... Uh, I didn't look it up, so my guess is probably around 30 bucks or so, so we'll see. And then this ring, which is magnetic but still really cool, so it's got these sort of rope-looking strands, and then there are scattered, you know, faux gemstones. So um, this one I'll probably still put up around 20, 25 bucks, just because I think it's awesome and very colorful. So. Hey, how's it going, Chris? Thrift Shop Hustler's there. Oh, my gosh. He said he found some dongles today. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those words. It's one of those words. Hey, James Mowry, how's it going? Okay, then I also got this necklace. I thought it might be gold, but it didn't end up. But it's really cool. So it's got this ring, and it's got these. Oh, you can't really see that, can you? Hang on, let me move this. So I can't get close enough to the camera to show you. Okay, hey, Dr. Doodle Doo. So it's got this ring with these two little bars attached to it. So there's that. It's really dainty. And I found one kind of similar. Oh, we're Nick and Zion. Hey, they're, they're having a the time together. Nick went up to see Zahir and Rebecca. Um, let's see. Where did it go? Nope, nope, nope. Did I close it out? Maybe I closed it out. Here we go. Um, so this is kind of similar. Mine has these little bars next to it. Um, this one is on Etsy for $18.50. So I might, you know, it's really dainty and delicate. So I might do that and just put it up for about $20 on Etsy. Well, I guess I can put it on Etsy. 
it looks vintage, right? I'll have to see a little bit more. It might be vintage. That's the hard thing with some jewelry. It's like figuring out, is it vintage or not? I'm trying to date it. We'll see. It's nice. I mean, it's got some good little details. If you see right here, there's like a little bit of a coil. Apologies if my nails are dirty. Same thing here. It's got these little coiled bits. Anyway, so I'll probably put it up on Etsy for 20 bucks. Etsy and eBay. Let's see. Okay, moving on. Where did I put my basket? Next, we're getting there. Is Maggie in the chat? I've got a cameo. I don't know if I see, have I seen Maggie. Okay. <laughs> I was really bummed though. Okay, so I got this brooch. Hey, Nick and Andrew. I didn't know you guys were live. I would have waited, but then no, I wouldn't have really waited. <laughs> I have to do this now because my parents are going to be here in 10 minutes. So if I didn't do it now, it was now or never. So I hate going live at the same time as my friends, but it just had to happen. So um, have I ever heard of cherry or cognac amber? Yes, I have. Hello, Leslie. Okay, so this brooch with these little cameos going around it, I thought was so sweet. And I bought it and I didn't notice till I got home that one of them is broken. I had no idea. I paid 50 cents for it. I don't know what I'm going to do now. Um, I don't know. Would you still sell it or put it in a lot? Some people love, love cameos, but that one's broken. Hey, is it here? How's it going, man? <laughs> I take it y'all didn't make it into, into any boot fairs today, boot sales. Y'all were up last night late, <laughs> super late. Okay, the next up, I got this silver ring or circle with I'm guessing little crystally rhinestones and a sterling silver chain on it so isn't it nice yeah I mean and this is the thing too Chris with cameos usually when I show them in a haul video it sells before I can ever list it you know somebody in in the community I, I know two people straight off that buy cameos so yeah um so there's this one and this one is probably like a diamond dozen, you know, I see a lot of this out there, but I'll probably still put it up for 15, 20 bucks. I mean, it's still silver. So, okay. Then what I have open still so I can close that, close that. Uh huh. Close. Yeah, maybe, maybe. No more dongles. Okay. <laughs> okay. So recycle the cameo into a craft lot. Yeah. Somebody might still want it. I hold out hope. All right, so this is funny. Oh, who was it in the group? Somebody in the jewelry group shared a brooch. It looks almost exactly like this one that I just got. Oh, cool. Prairie Picking Girl said, PBS did a video on how cameos are made. It's fascinating. I'm going to have to look that up. That's awesome. I'd love to see that. Because it's shell, right? And they just like carve it out. But maybe, it, yeah. Donna says, put it in a lot. Okay, so there's this one. I, I like to pick up nautical stuff. I just sold an, a nautical, like an anchor brooch. What did it go for? It went for good money. It was 20 or 30 bucks. It was pretty good. So I'll probably do the same with this one. I'll probably put it around, probably around the $20, $25 mark right there. It's just gold tone. But some people are nuts for nautical stuff. They like the naughty stuff. <laughs> Okay, then this, originally I just got it because I wanted the silver chain. So this is a silver, like, ball chain. It's pretty long. And it's got these silver birthstone kids on it, which, you, you know, you see them around. But then I saw that some had sold on eBay. Look it up. I will, because that sounds really interesting. Um, okay, so let me screen share. Screen share. There we go. So here's, you know, like, that's an 18 karat gold one. Hmm. So three charms, birthstone, 49. Yeah, I, I don't know. They may end up in a lot because, meh, it just seems like a pain. But then the necklace, so here's a necklace the almost pretty much similar to the one I have. So for 10 bucks. So I may just take the necklace and put it with another pendant. And then put the the rest of these into a lot. So, hello, Stevie. How's it going? Let me see. 
Kathleen says, I live near the ocean now, find all kinds of nautical stuff. Yeah, some people are nuts for it. Yes, yes. Okay, and then this is a, <clears throat> pardon me, a Brighton necklace. It still had the tag on it, which is awesome because then I could look up the name of the necklace. Originally sold for $44. So there's this. It looks like a big plastic crystal. <laughs> but the one that I, I didn't find this exact one. But I found one in the shape of a heart that sold for 15 So let me screen share that so you can see. I'll probably still put mine up for more because mine is new with tags. So this one sold for 15 Yeah. I didn't, yeah, like I said, I didn't see this one that looks like a big crystal or whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What would you say that looks like? Like from a chandelier or something like that. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably put mine up for a bit more since it's still... You know, new tags. Cool. Was that everything? Let me see. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I got a tripod for my sister because she needs a tripod for when she's working on her beehives. So I got a tripod for three bucks. And then I got a big shelf thingy that I'm going to put back here to put all my doodads on. My tchotchkes. Um, so that's still in the car too. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Oh, 63 viewers. Go over there and hit that thumbs up, friends. And I think that's everything. I am going to go see Neil Gaiman tonight, and I'm very excited about that. Um, so, yeah, go over there. Hit the thumbs up, friends. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. And let me know later. I, if you leave it in the chat, I won't see it until because it goes away. But come back, leave a comment, and let me know what are some of the awesome finds you got this weekend. Did you go to some garage sales, thrift stores? Um, what are your awesome scores? I'd love to hear it. Okay, you guys have a good evening, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, everybody.